Morning, happy birthday to you, even if it's not your real birthday, because welcome to the first day of the rest of your life, and every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate it as such. We do have some real people's birthdays today, and for some reason the list is not showing on my screen, which is always... I know why. No, I don't. <laughs> why are they not coming up? Oh, there they are. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Happy birthday to you, etc., etc., etc. Ah, uh, yes, we are. we're working, we're working, we're there, we're there, we're there. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry about the mess there. Um, yes, happy birthday, every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate it. Uh, we do have some people whose real birthday is today and a few from yesterday as well um, because I didn't do my live yesterday. I did mean to do it from home but things just got in the way and I never got around to doing it and got into bed last night and thought, oh my God, I didn't do the live yesterday. So, sorry guys. Anyway, uh, happy Saturday. Um, I've had a bit of a weird couple of weeks. Um, no, week or so, really. Well, yeah, it's really a week. Is it, has it been longer than a week? I don't know. Um, well, yeah, I did my confession thing, I think, last Saturday, did I? I can't remember. I've lost track of my times completely. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a weird week this week. I've had a lot of stress um, with my other business, Diary Booker, um, trying to get that kind of up and running again. Um, uh, I've done a few late nights, which has meant had a knock-on effect on my morning, and then because I haven't been paying attention to my mornings, that's had a knock-on effect on my day, and it's just just got out of hand all week this week. Um, I've had a couple of personal setbacks, not really setbacks, but um, some friends of mine online who I've lost touch with, um, which has been a bit frustrating over the last uh, week or so as well, so that's kind of got to me a little bit, just like, oh, what happened to you, where are you, are you alright, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's been going on. Um, yeah, and obviously I haven't been making as much progress as I wanted to do in my other side of my business, my Find Your Fire stuff, and uh, moving forward to my seven day challenge, which is starting a week tomorrow. Um, so yes, it's all been a bit of a weird couple of weeks, um, but I think I've got it all in perspective now. And of course, I've also been having a few health, hmm, un unusual, unusual, unusualities, <laughs> so forth. Anyway. Um, yes. So, um, but we all have these days, don't we? We all have these weeks. Kind of the point of this thing is, um, we all have these weird weeks when. Um, things aren't quite going the way they're supposed to go or the way we want them to go or the way we plan them to go um, and then we get knocked off our stride um, and I've been trying to put my my things in place that I would teach other people uh, to help with that uh, and it's worked to a certain extent um, but then I've also been ignoring my own advice as well um, which has then had a negative effect of course and that's just what happens isn't it um, so yeah that's confession time really um, is um, <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to myself as much as I should have been um, I have the last two or three days I've been taking a little more, few more rests and a few more bakes, um, being a little bit more easy on myself, not beating myself up quite as much as I uh, have been over the last week or so for not doing the things that um, I should have been doing. <laughs> so, yeah, so we all have these days, don't we, when um, all these weeks or whatever, um, when we don't really do what we're supposed to do and then we beat ourselves up um and that just causes more problems so i'm here confessing that i'm not perfect none of us are um, we all make mistakes and um but we can always make changes and move things forward um who is that i can see a pretty face on there but uh, <laughs> can't see who you are with a red uh, red top in your little profile thing hello who are you anyway hello happy birthday to you because it is the first day of the rest of your life um uh, let's do a little breathing exercise, uh, blow out some candles on our cakes and wish happy birthday to the people whose birthdays it is today. And we do have a slight memorial today as well because yesterday was the birthday of uh, Hayley White uh, who we sadly lost um, at some point. Um, I'm not sure when it happened exactly um, but I had a feeling that um, uh, she was no longer with us. Uh, so happy birthday in heaven I guess uh, to uh, Hayley White. Um, or wherever it is, wherever it is, wherever it is you go, we li you live on in our memories. Um, I mean, nobody ever really goes away uh, if they live on in other people's memories, um, because here we are talking about her right now, and uh, she's no longer with us on Earth anymore. Uh, whether you believe in heaven or not is another thing, another story entirely. But happy birthday to today for uh, Kim. Uh, Kim Thornton Norris, who I've known for years. Um, love you, Kim. Haven't seen you for ages. Can't wait to see you again and meet all your little kiddies who've presumably grown up massively since I last saw them all. Um, uh, Roxana, don't know where I know you from. Susie, same deal. Philip Powell, I must have met you because you're from Cheltenham. I've no, no idea how or where, uh, but happy birthday to you. Uh, Mark Davis, I'm from Brisbane. I think you're in Brisbane still, are you? Um, speaker, coach, um, 
Love you guys as well. Had some really great times with you uh, over the years, um, including some cruises. I think you were on one of the cruises, weren't you? I think you were, yes, you were definitely on the cruises uh, in the Caribbean. That's fantastic. I'd love to see you again. I've actually just been watching a live from uh, a friend of mine, Charlotte, in Perth, actually, um, which is completely opposite side of the country, I know. So, um, <laughs> I think. If I'm right. I forgot my geography right. Anyway, there you go. Um, so, happy birthday to you guys for today. And for yesterday, uh, Lucia... Um, Ranjit, uh, Mark Harris, who I taught how to do the Rubik's Cube in Spain a few years ago. How's that going, Mark? Can you still do it? I have a new course, if you're interested, which uh, shows you um, all those moves, but uh, teaches you step by step, even if you've never done it. So actually, if anybody else is watching this who's ever wanted to solve the Rubik's Cube, um, um, but doesn't want to bother learning all the algorithms and all that tricky stuff, um, but you have a messed up cube at home, or you want me to send you a cube, I have some spare cubes, if you want me to send you a cube, uh, let me know. Uh, Findyourfire.co.uk forward slash cube steps. Uh, it uh, takes about an hour to solve the whole cube from beginning to end um, without having to learn anything at all. You just literally follow the, the instructions in my uh, video instruction book. And uh, depending on how your cube is set up, you watch a different video uh, all the way through. They're little tiny sort of one or two minute videos. And they say, do this move, then do this move. And then depending on how the cube is then set up, it's like if you've got a white piece here or a white piece here, then it's all very good. Very easy to follow, um, step by step. Somebody called it a paint by numbers. Uh, and I've had four or five people do it now and they've all done it in around an hour each um, from having never tried to solve a Rubik's Cube in their lives before or having tried and failed in the past as well. That's also possible. So yeah, so how Mark, that's you. <laughs> Karen Poxon, um, happy birthday to you for yesterday. Haley, of course, who we talked about earlier on. Um, uh, Claire Hart and Suzanne Jenkins, who I went to school with. Happy birthday to you, Suzanne. Hope you're well. We'd love to catch up one day uh, and find out what you're up to and all that stuff. So happy birthday to all those people. little breathing exercise. Um, uh, clear out your lungs. Breathe in for five through your nose. Hold for five. It allows the oxygen to um, exchange with the carbon dioxide molecules in your blood. Gets oxygen into your brain. Alkalines your blood a little bit. Uh, allows you to calm down. Less less stress, less uh, um, panic attacks and all that kind of stuff. All good, all good. And stress and uh, anxiety. Reduces anxiety, that's why. So anyway, <sighs> kind of blow out your candles. Pretend you blow out your candles. It's five, through the nose. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then blow out the candles on your imaginary cake here. Make a wish and think positively about the people whose birthdays it is today and Hayley White uh, and all her family and friends and stuff. Uh, wish them all happy birthdays as well. And we're going to blow out the candles on our cake and I've run out of breath now, so... Happy birthday, everybody. Hope you have a lovely day. Cool. Right, so that's basically everything I wanted to say anyway because I did confession time already. Um, I do want to do a little bit, though, actually, to be fair. I've talked about race a little bit. Now we're going to talk about... Um, I, don't know, I was going to say sexuality. That's not right at all, is it? <laughs> about... Um, uh, yes, back, hashtag not all men. Um, I've had quite a few discussions about this in recent days. Uh, there's some stuff going on in the UK. If you're not from the UK, then and you might not know what's going on. There was a lady in who was walking in London and... Um, I'm not actually sure what the whole story is. I haven't been watching enough news. Uh, but I understand there was a police officer, an active serving police officer, who was involved in abducting her. I don't, I don't know if she... I think she's dead. Uh, I saw a quote um, on the London Underground or something saying, rest in peace or something. I can't remember if, for sure. I can't be sure. So I've got my, wrong, my things wrong. Just please forgive me. But there's been a lot of stuff on uh, UK social media um, about um, women feeling scared um, and men... Uh, yeah taking offence to things like saying all men need to take care of this and all men need to take uh, be aware of this and do something about it um, and they're right and I've been through a journey myself you may remember I was standing just over there about six eight months ago uh, when I made a sexist remark and I didn't realize I was making a sexist remark um, somebody pointed it out to me and I went oh that's a good point I hadn't really thought of it that way um, I was talking about um, women not wanting to know the technical details or something of something, and somebody said, "Why wouldn't women want to know those technical details?" And I went, "That's a really good point. I have no idea. I don't know why. I just had this unconscious um, sexist belief, I guess. Um, didn't even realise I was doing it until somebody pointed it out to me, and I was like, "Oh God, yeah, you're right. I did." Um, and uh, because I was man enough to say, "Yep, yeah, I made a mistake. You're quite right. Um, I called me out on it, and I'm quite happy to admit it." and uh, and, uh, and then I had a big row with my, with uh, with some members of my family, should I say? <laughs> Let's not just say that. Um, I had some I had a bit of a bit of a disagreement with some people who I know closely. <laughs> that's, that's better way to do it. It's always dangerous on these lives, isn't it? Because you can get yourself 
find yourself saying things that you probably didn't wouldn't want to say in public. Anyway, doesn't really matter. It's not important. I'm not you know, disputing it at all. It's just disagreements about because um, it's happened on social media as well. So it's not just not just one place. Um, uh, yes, about um, whether or not it was sexist or not, or whether or not it was fair and all that kind of stuff. And are you being sexist? And I'm like, yes, yes, I was. <laughs> I definitely was. There's no question about it. Um, and that's where this um, not all men thing comes into it. Um, because as I've just said a few times, if you start saying not all men, then actually you're adding to the problem. Um, you are becoming the sort of person who then tries to belittle the, the woman who said it um, and belittle the way they're feeling uh, rather than accepting how they're feeling and recognising that there's a problem and recognising that it's an issue that we all need to be aware of and take care of and look at and um, think about and so forth. I'm probably going to get a load of backlash on this on this video, um, but I'm hoping that the people who follow me and actually watch my videos on a regular basis will be the sort of people who will understand where I'm coming from on this. Um, and because this is not this is not an accusation. This is not a a global all men are bad thing. This is a all men need to be aware of this thing. Um, and all men need to teach their their sons and their friends and call people out when they're doing things that are sexist uh, even their little tiny things that they don't even realize they're doing because it happens all the time honestly i do it i don't even realize i'm doing it um and it's the same with the racist thing so we've talked about this before as well he's quite often you because that's come out in the in the recent weeks as well with hegan Meg, hegan and mary <laughs> megan and harry thing um uh yeah so again it's it's it can be a little it can be because you can look at those statements and go, well, that's not really sexist. And you go, yeah, but it's the context in which it was said and the reason why it was asked and all that kind of stuff then 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 makes it into a racist thing. And then the reactions to it then become racist as well. You've got to watch out for these things. You've got to be aware of what's going on um, and how your thoughts are perceived by other people. Uh, thoughts, your, 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 your speech and your actions are perceived by other people, not your thoughts, obviously, because they're your own thoughts. They're inside your head. Nobody knows about them. Um, but those thoughts inside your head then can lead on to how you act in real life as well and how you act towards others and, I, and this comes back to the same stuff that i would teach normally as well so i mean it's obviously a specific type of thing that we're talking about here but in general um we need to be aware of our actions now i know i'm not the best I've, I've made mistakes in the past and people have called me out on it i've been on a journey i've learned these things i've also had some really bad experiences myself uh, with some women in the past um and some of you will know about some of those things um don't need to go into them now um, but I've said those things as well, and then people have said, "Oh, you're just saying it's not, it's not." <laughs> you're saying it's not just women. I'm like, "Yeah, I know, but that's not the point I'm making. What I'm point I'm making sometimes there is empathetic. So I understand. I'm being, I'm showing empathy that I understand how you feel, not how you feel, but I understand the situations that can occur, um, and actually saying that I couldn't possibly understand what it's like to be in those shoes, in your shoes, or day in day out. In the same way as I said a couple of days ago about racism i could not possibly know what it's like to be a black person um, living in the world and experiencing day-to-day -day racism everyday racism just like i have no idea what it's like to experience everyday sexism because i'm a man i'm a white man i can't possibly expect to be expected to understand these things but i can empathize i can understand where you're coming from i can support you i can try and call out other people when i see things that are being wrong but i need to know what's wrong in the first place to be able to be to be able to do that and these people who say these things and don't realize they're saying them also need to recognize that what they're saying isn't helpful um and uh can actually be demeaning and belittling to the women when you say not all men um because effectively you're then mansplaining to them you are <laughs> um, creating a situation where they are um you are making them feel small for having said something that isn't technically true, even though they know it's not technically true. <laughs> um, they don't need it explaining to them that it's not technically true. They don't need you to, to tell them that. Um, and they don't need you to be feel victimised and then portray your victimisation. A little bit like old Piers Brosnan. Piers Brosnan? Piers Brosnan? <laughs> Piers Morgan did this week as well. Oh, I'm a victim now. I'm being a persecuted for, for being negative. Um, it's like, yeah, it's this, it's weird. It's this weird kind of thing where people say i'm now going to take on the victim so you, you you're claiming that you're a victim oh but you can't take on a victim because i'm now the victim and i'll take your victimhood away from you and i'll be now the victim um and it's like no that's not how these things work um i don't know i'm going around and rambling in circles now i'm hoping i'm making some kind of sense and uh, hopefully some people will po post some comments um in support of what i'm trying to say and even if i'm not saying it right i'm happy to admit that i'm wrong uh, and if somebody wants to comment below and tell me i'm wrong and tell me why i'm wrong i'm happy to debate it with you um 
and I'm happy to admit that I made a mistake if I made a mistake and I haven't said something that, that makes sense. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to be a better person constantly, all day, every day. Um, and we should all do the same. Um, however, <laughs> there's a should in there, isn't there? And I always catch people on shoulds. Um, I'm not telling you what you should do. <laughs> well, I am. I'm telling you what you should do. But you are deciding whether or not you choose to do what I'm suggesting that you think about doing in the future. Um, anyway, bit of a bit of a sort of political one there, I guess. Um, but it's just one of those sort of things where we can all be better. We can all make the world a better place if we all empathise more with each other and we love each other more and uh, we show a little bit more love to each other. So um, that's what that's my message for the day, really, I suppose. Um, let's show more love and empathy and compassion and tolerance and kindness to other people um, in our lives and in the world in general. Um, and let's just make this world a better place. What a great place to finish this little talk on. Take care, everybody. Love you all. Remember, every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate it. And wish everybody else a happy birthday as well. Send love out into the world. Find somebody you... Just tell everybody you love them. And say hello to everybody. Say hello to strangers on the street and love them. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Love you all. See you on Monday, hopefully. Take care. Bye for now.